All right, welcome back to WMAC Now with your host, Chuck Stevenson, coming at you today with some big fight news. I'm talking big. So Juliana Pena is out of her match with uh, Amanda Nunes at UFC 289 next month in June in Canada due to uh, broken ribs, apparently. And while that would seem like some bad news, if you're an Irene Aldana fan, this is great news because Irene Aldana is now in. She will no longer be facing Raquel Pennington in the main event of a fight night. Now, she's going to be main eventing, challenging the lioness Amanda Nunes for the Women's Bantamweight Championship on June 10th in Vancouver. Not going to lie, I'm a big Aldana fan, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty pumped for this one. I'm pretty darn pumped. Let's take a look at the stats on this one. The Lion is coming in at 22 and 5. Aldana coming in at 14 and 6. Of course, Amanda coming off of the rematch where she defeated Juliana Pena via unanimous decision. Aldana riding two straight wins into this over uh, Yana, uh, Yana Santos or Yana Kunitskaya at the time. And then uh, that TKO against Massey Chasson via that upkick to the liver seven months ago. They are the same age. They're both 35 years old. Aldana is slightly taller at 5'9", 175 centimeters to 5'8", 173 centimeters for Nunez. Reach is virtually identical, 68.5 inch, 69 inches. So those are your stats for this. Ah, I can't get over how excited I was. I almost like made a scene in the bar I was in last night when I got this news. Like I literally like jumped up out of my seat. I think this is going to be a good fight. Uh, Aldana definitely has, I mean, both ladies have knockout power. We know that. Does Aldana have the skills on the feet to beat Nunes? I think she does. I genuinely think she does. I think as long as, you know, she doesn't fall into like, a, like bad patterns, like when she fought Holly Holm, I think Aldana can beat Nunes on the feet. On the ground, it's going to be a lot more challenging. I mean, not that Aldana is bad on the ground, but uh, Nunes is just very, very top heavy when she gets an opponent down. So uh, hopefully this one stays more on the feet. I think it would just make for an all around more exciting fight that way anyway. Um, yeah, I don't have a whole lot to say on this right now. Um, I'm still on uh, my vacation, so I wanted to get this in and make a quick video on it. Let me know your thoughts on about in the comments down below. If you like the vid, please give it that thumbs up. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to WMAC Now, the best, most complete women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.